going on YouTube? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. Today we came over to my parents and uh, they let us know that they had some bees in this tree so we went ahead and brought our bee suit and all this stuff and what we're going to do is you can see this giant maple tree here there's a there's a knot hole in here and we don't know how big this hive is but anyways they're honeybees so what we're going to do is uh, we made this little this is an old shop vac filter and uh, me and my dad wrapped some uh, window screen around it and zip tied it made a little cone what we're going to try to do is screw this to that hole or to the tree up there over that hole and what that does is it creates kind of what they call a bee trap and supposedly the bees can come out but they don't know how to go back in and uh first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to mount this box i got this this is a bee nook here it's a little five frame nook and this is what you use if you want to split a hive or something, you buy an existing hive off of somebody else, they'll take some frames of some brood, which are the eggs and babies or larvae, and uh, they'll take a couple of frames of pollen and some of the food, and they'll put it in here with the queen, and you take it home and put it in a big 10 frame hive, and that's how you start your hives off. So I kept this. This thing is it's, it's made out of plastic, and uh, it's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow, so that's why I chose to do this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get it up here on this Y, and get this thing mounted but before I do that I bought my brought my bee brush I'm gonna try to brush off as many of those bees into this box as I can so I'm gonna quit talking and get my smoker going and get my bee suit on and get up there so far they don't look like they're mean but that don't mean anything and this is the first time I've ever tried this so I'm sure there's a hundred different ways to do it but after watching a few quick YouTube videos, this is what I came up with. <clears throat> and I got a ratchet strap there. I'm going to put on this box around that tree, maybe, if I can. I don't know if I'll be able to. That tree's pretty big. Smoke them first. They don't seem too mad. See a lot of them starting to go inside the box. Or inside the hole in the tree. I've got a few bouncing off of me, and that means they're trying to sting me, and they're just hitting this, that, or this suit and bouncing off. I 
Take that foam off her bub and just use your deal first. Are they coming after you? Yes. I don't want stung. They're getting mad now. Go out the other side. Sissy, go out there. What? Go in the house. Stay back, baby. We're going to pull me. Or go over there. You're gonna have to move. You're gonna get it. Don't worry about videoing. Go. Sissy, stay back. There's some up there in the box. On the box. Yeah, they might start going in there. I'm just making sure I got the, all, the, all the way around sealed up. Good.
me see that and I'll do a close up. Is it still recording? Yep. All right, guys, so I pretty much have their hole sealed off. They can come out. This is just a little cone here, you guys can see. So they can come out, but supposedly they're not able to get back in. And they still have plenty of room to where they can drag out their dead drones and stuff like that. But as you can see, they're starting to congregate more now around here because there is no way they can get in. I've got it all sealed off. And uh, right there is the uh, nook box, and you can see there's some already going in and out of there, so that's a good thing. I've got some frames with some honey in it already and some established cone, so hopefully they'll go in there. But uh, this could take up to a week or so. I'll have my parents come out and check every couple days and see if they're still congregating around here or if they're coming in out of that box pretty good. So now I'm going to try to get a ratchet strap on there. All right, so it's been 10, 15 minutes since we put the cone up there and kind of took the ladder down and got all this stuff away. And uh, you can see they're starting to go in the uh, nook box up there. And more and more of them are, uh, you can see they're kind of hanging here from the bottom of that cone. They're accumulating big time. And that's a good sign. That means they're coming out and uh, not very many of them is figuring out how to get back in. So. It's a good sign we'll wait a day or two and uh, if they look like they're all going in and out of that nook box we can come take it and uh, take them back to the farm and put them in a tin frame hive and make them a new home. Alright guys so that's a little bit of a different video than you guys are used to but my parents have these bees over here in one of their trees and when you mow and weed eat around these hives like this even in the wild Especially at your house like mine uh, if you guys have been following the channel You've seen me get lit up by the bees when I was weed eating around there They don't like weed eaters and this is only about 10 foot off the ground So we're gonna try to get them trapped and uh, hopefully get them relocated back to our farm in a beehive But if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button leave a comment down below and uh, be sure to tune in for a uh, future video to see if we are able to capture this beehive or not um, usually when they do this we won't be able to probably capture the queen because she's probably way up in that tree somewhere in all the comb laying eggs and all that but what we can do is get a lot of these worker bees and then get some uh, a frame from another hive or something at home with some brood in it and what they'll do is they'll make, the, make their own queen and you guys can see I don't know if you can see or not actually but they are all around me I don't have a glove on this hand I got it in my pocket because they are wanting to sting me big time they're super mad but uh anyways subscribe if you're not subscribed leave a comment and we'll see you next time